When I first opened, I invited just a handful of uh, artists to be part of what I was doing, but never in my wildest dreams I ever thought that it was going to be this big. And the amount of artists I have now as of last week uh, in my number count is, uh, is 308. It came together uh, uh, from my late husband uh, as a studio. Uh, this was a working studio. Then uh, shortly after he passed away, we, I turned it into um, an art gallery to honor Roy. I felt it was important to honor him in some way. So, so a gallery came in mind, and I thought, why not turn it into a gallery? It was Roy's studio, and we worked out here for um, for a long time. You know, we were open once a week to the public, and uh, the rest of the time was just working. You know, Roy painting and uh, me doing what uh, I needed to do. You know, in in the background, um, I was never ever comfortable being out in the public. But you know what? When you're forced to to do things, you know, especially after Roy left, I mean, I was forced. My boys were young, so I uh, had to uh, do something, and uh, so I thought, why not just turn it into a gallery? So Roy has always been my inspiration and uh, the reason why I have this gallery. You know, without him and without the art, you know, I wouldn't I wouldn't have this gallery. But I also felt a need for our people. There was nothing like this in Thunder Bay that was, was representing our people to this extent. So I thought, why not in honor of Roy, but also to, um, to have a space for, for First Nation artists. But you know, I enjoy what I do. I have a passion for what I do, and I believe in these artists. Because when you look around, I mean, the, the talent is just, just amazing what our, what our people can do. And I think that's very exciting.